Clap your hands and like, come on. Here we go, come on. Shabbat Shalom and welcome to our Sabbath service. It's good to have you as usual tuning in to hear us. And I know that there is a word in the house for somebody today. I hope you actually enjoy our Sabbath school from our teaching this morning from Minister Ghent as she summarized the book of Revelation as she moved towards the last part of the studies in Revelation. I hope you've been enjoying that. And of course, ready to receive uh, the word from the man of Yah today. It's good to have you. And of course, there is always a word for somebody. I get excited, uh, my God, for the word, because we know what the word does to our spirit. The Bible says the word is sharp and it's powerful. Uh, my God, so it doesn't matter where we're at in our spirit today. Once we hear the word, the word will do something because it goes to the lowest valley and it also reach, reaches to the highest mountain. That that's the word of Yahweh. It's powerful. And as you all know, Yahweh used the word itself and in creation. The Bible said, he said, let there be. And there was. Hallelujah. So we are excited when it comes to the word of Yah, because we know that it doesn't matter our situation. There is always a word for whatever situation you're going through this afternoon. There is always a word in the scripture that we can hold on to. Hallelujah. Oh my God, I'm, I'm really happy uh, to be here just to give Yahweh thanks. The Bible said this is a day. It's the day that he has made and we should rejoice. 
and be glad in it. Hallelujah. So this is Yahweh's house of worship and restoration international ministry. And of course, you will hear a powerful word. I'm looking for that word. I'm so looking forward to hear the man of Yah. Oh my God, a man that is full of the, of, of the knowledge of the word of Yah. And he's coming with a powerful word for somebody today. And my plate is already turned up. Uh, my cup is already empty because I don't want anything inside of there. I just want it to be empty so that it can be filled. Hallelujah. So we're just going to play you one more song. And after that song, I'll be praying for our speaker today. And I won't tell you who it is just yet. I want that to be a surprise. Hallelujah. So why don't you just worship with us with this song, this last song, as we wait and get ourselves ready to receive that which Yahweh has in store. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah, hallelujah, Yahweh, Yahweh. What would I do without you? Hallelujah. That was just a powerful worship song. And I hope he was actually worshiping as we wait for the word. Hallelujah. Why don't you just join with me now as I pray and just give Yahweh what belongs to him, the glory, the honor, the praise, and also just put the man of Yah into his hands because he is the potter and we will always be the clay. Hallelujah. So join me now as we pray. Father, we magnify your name, we exalt you, we worship you, we adore you. There is none like you, none to compare unto you. You are just Yahweh all by yourself. Ah, oh, my God, how you just stretch out the curtain like, my God, the heavens like a curtain, my God. When we think of how great you are, when we think of how awesome you are, my God, David said, when I look can see the moon, the stars that you, you, you put in place. Who is man that you are mindful of us? Oh my God, today we are so grateful that we are in our right minds. We are grateful today, ah, oh, Father, that you are still the author and the finisher of our faith. We are grateful today because yes you're still the beginning and you're still the end we are grateful today oh my god because you are alpha and omega and today we've got hope my god ah oh, we know the god in whom we serve ah oh, and so it doesn't matter what's happening around us ah oh, father we can lean on your everlasting arms oh my god because we're Wherever we go, you are there. We are so confident, my God, knowing that we have a shield around us. Uh, therefore, we will not go into danger. Ah, oh, my God, we thank you for your hedge of protection around us. Ah, oh, my God, where can we go from your presence? Ah, oh, if we decide to take the wings of the morning and fly to the uttermost part of the sea, even there you will be. And if we decide to make our bed in hell, even there you will be. Father, we are so grateful oh, for your loving kindness and your tender mercies. Ah, oh, we thank you that you are a our refuge and our strength. We thank you that you are our shield and our butler. We are grateful, my God, uh, that you, Yahweh El Elyon, who start a good work in us, you are able to complete it because, my God, oh, you can do exceedingly and abundantly more than what we even ask or think. And so this afternoon, Yahweh, King of glory, your manservant, who you have, my God, a call for such a time as this. Oh, Spirit of the living Yah, we thank you, my God, for his faithfulness. We thank you, Yahweh El Elyon, my Koshaba. Ah, that it carito by Rekutunde Bekesaya as he takes your word on board, my God, and apply it to his life, Makesaya. Ah, is it took on that which you have asked us to do, uh, to seek you first, my God, and everything else will come after. Ah, uh, my God, as he seek you daily, ah, uh, my God, in your word. Studying your word, ah, my God, my record you, so that you could deposit in Him that which you have for your people today. Rest and all shy, I pray, my God, Almighty Kerata, eh, setondo koto rekantai, raba setondo kushai, rekombaya. Pray, Father, my God, ah, that like on the day of Pentecost. <laughs> Ricotonda Isaya, ah, Marco Shataya, that some describe as a mighty rushing wind. Raymond Koto Shaya, I pray, Father, that your second eye, you sit upon him today, my God. Raymond Koto Shakaya, I pray, Father, my God, for an unusual anointing. Nesataya, a cutting a 
church anointing. Uh, my God and mighty Tebai, ram on the Kotoshaya, that shall be slain and be crucified, my God, as you use this vessel, my God and mighty. Mm. Ah, babakunda rakaya. My God, my rekotondo bosaya. Lemo sikandaraya. Breathe upon him today, Father, my God, and use him for your service. Say, rekataya. My God, that somebody, my rekoto, will have a testimony. Rio shakaya. My God, after the word today, as somebody. My God, I will come home. My Yabakona, I shut my soul. Somebody, my God, will come into the truth. Somebody, my record, will be delivered. Somebody, Reshakaya, will be saved. Somebody will be healed. I pray, my God, for the cutting. My God, my record, that when the word go forth, my satire, every stony heart, my God, I will be broken up, my ketoshaya, send the kotoraya, every stubbornness, my God, my ketoshaya, will cease my rokotoshaya. And your people, my God, ah, masukuna rekoto shaya, ah, masataya, will have receptive hearts. Ah, my God, to hear, my God, ah, the word today, Father, I pray, I pray, King of Glory. That you anoint him, Akusheke Remanda Labakutai, Rebo Sayamando Kushiabai, Rekotonde Debekiai. Anoint him, Father. Pour out, Shekuda by you. Pour out on him today, Father, my God. Ah, Samandu Shaya. Give him an experience, my Yekotosha. A new encounter, my God. When he opens his mouth to speak, it will not be his word, my God, but it will be your words, my God, that which you would have your people to hear today. We wait on you, we wait on you, Father. As you now take the center stage, ah, Barikuda, as you take the center stage now, Father, anoint him afresh from the crown of his head down to the very sole of his feet. We give you glory, we give you honor, and we give you praise. Ah, Yabasaya, for thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory belongs to you now and forevermore hallelujah 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 right where you are i just want you to start worshiping yeah begin to give him the praise begin to give him that which belongs to him because we were all created oh my god to worship and to worship him in spirit and in truth so right now as you get ready to receive the word just give Yahweh what belongs to him. And when you lift him up, when you give him what he deserves, what you were created to do, just watch him work in your life. Hallelujah. So right now, I'm just going to maku shabaya saya. Hey, Father, we worship, we adore you, we magnify you, we exalt you. Ah, we place you where you belong, at the highest place, Father, where you care, where the hurt is your footstool. We thank you, my God, sovereign king. Ah, the immutable God. Ah, Ah, the everlasting Father, ah, my God, Marco Shaya, I express. Now take preeminence. Father, we magnify you. We take authority over every atmospheric demon. And we serve you. Now take Give way. As the king of glory. Oh, will have his way today. So every 
Rosai, in every region, Makotosa, we uncuff you, Makataya, and we render you powerless. Rokoto, Shekendarabaya, as the word go forth, Makataya, Rama, Ushendaya, with power and authority, Rikoto, Shakaya, to do that which it was created to do and sent to do. Oh, my God, from your mind, servant. Father, I give you glory. I give you honor and I give you praise. Have your way, Father, have your way. Have your way, Father, have your way, have your way, have your way. Have your way. Why don't you go ahead and clap your hands? Uh, as we welcome the man of yeah, no other person than Pastor Gent. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I'm ready to receive a word today. I'm so excited. Oh my God Almighty, to hear the word from the man of yeah today. So go ahead. Oh my God, and help me welcome uh the man of yeah, Pastor Gent. Pastor Gent, over to you, sir. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. <laughs> Somebody give him praise. Somebody give him the praise just right where you are today. We cannot not give him praise. Thank you, Pastor Crossfield. Hallelujah. Welcome hallelujah. to another Sabbath day that we can worship and we can talk about the goodness of Yah. Hallelujah. hallelujah. And we can bless us as we worship him. I'll put everything aside now. Everything that's in the way, we we'll put them aside, we we'll put them out of our mind, our spirit, and now we we'll lift our spirit to the master so that he can speak to us today in a special way, in a way that he wants us to understand the time that we're living in and that we have to hold on to him because we cannot afford to let go. Hallelujah. Right now today, I just want to greet, uh, greet Pastor Crossfield. Hallelujah. So thank you for your introduction and your prayer. That is wonderful. Woman of prayer. Hallelujah. That is just powerful. Hallelujah. And of course, our pastor, our apostle, sorry, our apostle. Hallelujah. Our bishop, Apostle Borel, and his dear wife, uh, Tanya Borel, today. We just want to greet them. I want to greet the household of Yari. Hallelujah. I wouldn't call everyone's name, but we just call those for you. And all the pastors and Evangelist, you know who you are. Hallelujah. Yahweh bless you. Hallelujah. Uh, Yahweh's been so good to us, hasn't he? Has he been good to you? <laughs> He's been wonderful. Because, you know, we have a refuge. Hallelujah. You know what a refuge is? Hallelujah. Some place you can hide. Some place yes. you can be one-to-one -one with Yeshua. Hallelujah. Refuge in him. Today, we're going to be talking about we have an anchor. Hallelujah. An anchor that keeps our soul. Hallelujah. Take back. Glory to your name, Father. And show while our bellows roll. Hallelujah. You and I have got to be fast into the rock. Mm. And which kind of move. We have to be grounded in him. We have to be firm in him. And we yes. need some depth in him. Hallelujah. It is love. Our anchor today is called hope. Hallelujah. Because if you and I have got no hope today, we are a man most miserable. My word. We have to have a hope, a hope where in Yeshua that what he says he will do and where he's going to prepare that we will prepare ourselves to be there with him because he's our Messiah and our Savior. What's an anchor? An anchor you find in a ship. I'm sure you may have seen an anchor whether in a field or on a boat or in a ship. That's a very important piece of equipment that's on that, on that vessel. And no decent sailor and no proper sailor will be set to high seas without an anchor 
He's not he's just one, but more than one anchor on his vessel or his ship. Because he does not know at what point and what stage of the journey there will be turbulence. There will be currents. And there'll be waves and wind that blows contrary. There's a song written by Brian Dosky. It says, Faithful one, so unchanging, ageless one, you are my rock of peace. Stay there, don't go. <laughs> Faithful one, so unchanging. Ageless one, you're my rock of peace. Yahweh of all, I depend on you. I call out to you again and again. Hallelujah. I call out to you. Hallelujah. Again and again. Mm. You are my rock in times of trouble. Hallelujah. Yeah, when yeah. I go down, all through the storm, your love is the anchor. My hope is in you alone. Oh, I call out to you again and again. Hallelujah. I call out to you again and again. Hallelujah. You are my rock in times of trouble. You lift me up when I fall down. All through the storms, your love is the anchor. My hope is in you. Oh, I call out to you. Again and again. Hallelujah. I called out to you. Hallelujah. Again and again. I called out to you. Again and again. You know the world we're living in right now is a turbulent time. Uncertain time. Times when we know that the enemy will blow storms across our bows. Because we are like ships sailing on the sea of life. And you and I cannot sail on the sea of life without an important piece of equipment called the anchor. Which is our hope in Yeshua. There's times when winds are blowing across our belts. When the enemy starts to start up with the wave and the wind blows. Just mm. like when you when you're sure. Do you know the, the enemy can blow wind and waves across your belts? Yes. You know, it, can, it, can, it can get into your sail and cause turbulent wind to blow in your sail. Mm. But his love is more than tongue can tell. Hallelujah. His promises are sure. Yes. He is a covenant keeper. Hallelujah. He is a promise keeper. Hallelujah. When he says, I will never leave you nor forsake you, he meant what he said. And he's yes. still seen it today. You and I will wander from him because the enemy can blow us off course. 
long some time. Hallelujah. But when he blows us off course, we and I still have to remember where he's brought us from. Mm. And where we are today. And where we could have been. Ha, oh, my word. Yes. How far of course has he blown me? How mm. far of course has he blown you? How far Come on. of course has the enemy blown us? My word. We know where we're coming from. He's the same yesterday. He's the same today. And he's the same tomorrow because he holds tomorrow in his hand. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And all we need to do have hope. When he says, I'm going to prepare a place for you, he said, have hope in me. Trust in me. Mm. Hallelujah. He says, you will go through situations. You will go through circumstances. And they will not be pleasant. They will not be easy. Because you, they have been through it. And because you are my children, you will go through it too. But you need to handle yourself in me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you stick to me, you will not lose your way. Hallelujah. So many of us are losing our way because we took our eyes off the master. We took our eyes from the cross that he set before us. Mm. When bellows rose, have we got an anchor? Hallelujah. When you're a sailor and you're out there in the high seas and the winds are blowing and seas are high, you got to know when to drop anchor. Uh -huh. My word. I said you got to know when to drop anchor. Talk to us. And you got to know when to pull up anchor. That's right. It tells me when the boat is in the storm and the storm is heading, the captain will put that boat directly heading to up the storm. And when he put that boat directly to the bow towards the storm, then he's in a position now to drop anchor. Ah, so my that word. when the storm comes, he hits it straight dead on. And mm. the boat comes dead steady because the anchor is holding it steady. Hallelujah. The storm may wait for a little bit, but the bow, the important bit that is facing the storm is hanging on. Hallelujah. I want you to know today. That the, the deeper you go in the, in, 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 in the ocean, it's the, the deeper your anchor is going to go. That's right. Sometimes we are it's all right when we're in the shallows. Mm. We could drop a short anchor in the shallow. But when you're out in the deep where the storms are raging and everything is black, and all you have to do is depend on your anchor to hold you in the way. Hallelujah, hallelujah. How many times the enemy tried to blow me off course? My word. And if you're, uh, if you're uh, uh, if with yourself, you know, you know how many times the enemy tried to blow you off course. Of course, that's right. You get up in the morning, you say a praise, and you, you worship Yeshua and everything, and you're in good spirit, you drive to work, and when you get to work, all of a sudden, all hell broke loose. Because mm. the enemy wasn't man. happy if you praise in Yeshua and you're in a good spirit to worship him and you work into your workplace, hallelujah and high, but suddenly things are turning and you don't even know what. You, your words will be misconstrued. People are misunderstanding you. Bellows are blowing. Mm. You say something in your family and you don't know what happened. You just said something simple and next thing you know, fellows are blowing. Talk to us. It's none of your making at times. But because the enemy see where you are with Yeshua and your position and how much you love him and how much you worship him, his job is to put us off coat. Ah, you're preaching, preacher man. But one thing he forgets is that we're like Job 
We say when yeah. we not sin, even though your wife says, hey, why don't you curse God that day? Job said, I will drop and go. I am not going to move from my position. If you can't stand me how I am, when I'm going to go through my suffering, I'm going to drop and go here. You're not going to do my wife, but you're not going to move me, said Job. Because I know my Redeemer is. Ah, talk to us. And I will see him at the last day. Hallelujah. In my flesh, I will see him. Come on now, you're preaching. When the enemy tried to take everything from you, and the enemy tried to destroy you, and you to take your mind and, and, and get you to perplex state, you've got to remember that it doesn't matter what you do. I have an anchor. Hi, Abba. My God. My, my hope is not in the devil. My hope is not in my friends. My hope is not in, 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 in my family, but my hope is in Yeshua. That's right. Hallelujah. Ah, oh, my God. Mm. Have you got an answer? Okay, Todd, what a question. How heavy is your answer? My God. Can your answer hold you in the storm of black? Woo! Can your answer hold you when the wind is blowing? Can your answer hold you when turbulence are in your sail? Hey, Messiah. Mm. Can you still set your course straight? Come on. Can you still fix your face and skin and say, I know where I'm going. Come I on, know what Yeshua called me for. I know where I should be. I know what I should be doing. And I'm going to keep the course. Doesn't matter how much the wind blows. Hallelujah, hallelujah. My brother may not understand me. My sister may not understand me. My best friend may not understand me. Why I'm still dancing while what I'm in the choir. Hallelujah. My wind are blowing around me. Why yes. I have a peace in me when all hell is breaking loose. Why you still have that peace in your enemy? Because you have an anchor. Hallelujah. When you know who your anchor and where your anchor holds. My, my, my. Hmm. Our anchor was whole and grip. I want you to know today you can have an anchor, but the anchor must be linked to the ship. Hallelujah. You can throw an anchor overboard, but if the chain isn't linked firm to the ship, the anchor is useless to you. My word, my word. Woo! You have to make sure you make that connection. Yes. Yes. When you chew it. So when the waves come and you anchor them and you throw your anchor over, the anchor's passing to you and to them. My word, that's deep. So when the winds are tossing you to the right and tossing you to the left, you're still holding your coast. Hallelujah. You're still Hallelujah. on coast. Uh, you haven't looked to the right. You haven't looked to the left. But you're focused on your sewer because you know where you can put your stay. Hallelujah. Mm. When you're out in the deep, you have to drop a long way down. Your anchor's got to reach down. That's right. When Yeshua puts you in the deep, that's when storm comes. Hallelujah. That's when high waves are blowing. That's mm. when high water comes. Out in the deep. Yes. And when you're there, you cannot just have a, a short bit of lead and try to get to the bottom. You've got to have, the further you go, the deeper you go, your anchor must have a longer connection. Yes, hallelujah. To reach to the bottom. Oh, you've got an anchor, but you still be drifting. You've got to yeah. still be connected. The My anchor mind. must still connect to the vessel. My word, hallelujah. We have an anchor. You have an anchor that keeps your soul, haven't you? Who do you pray to when things start trying to overwhelm you? Who do you call on when things, your pastor, your apostle, your, your providence? Or do you get into your closet and you get one-to-one -one with Yeshua and you say, Yeshua, you are my anchor? Hallelujah. Hold on to Hallelujah. You. Your leaders can pray for you and they can 
you know, standing again. But you've got to have your own anchor. Yes. Work out your own salvation. Hallelujah. I don't want to lose my coast. (laughs) Everything in front of me is trying to distract me, but I have to keep my focus. Hallelujah. Mm. Going to do a bit of reading. I'm so glad to have Pastor Crossfield. Uh, she's just a woman of Yah that's just there to, you know, help me through. I get, I'll get confidence when I know she's there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're talking about Saul, about Paul. Paul was on a journey. He had to go to Rome in Italy. And those days they didn't have airplanes. He had to take a ship. Mm. And as he was going to take the ship, he knows the journey could be smooth and sailing could be good. But he also knows that sailing could be dangerous at any time. He's taken boats many times in his time. Mm. But this time, they put him on a boat. The centurion put him on a boat in Acts 27. And Pastor, read for us from there, verse 5, if you will please. Hallelujah. And when he had sailed over the sea, which is of Sicilia and Pamphylia, he came to Mara, a city of Lycia. Good. There the centurion found an Alexandrian ship sailing to Italy, and he put us on board. Uh-huh. When he had sailed slowly many days and arrived with difficulty of cinders, the wind not permitting us to proceed, we sailed under the shelter of Crete of Shalmon. Passing it with difficulty, we came to a place called <laughs> Fair Havens, near yeah. the city of La Cie. Now, when much time had been spent, and sailing was now dangerous because the fast was already over, Paul advised them, saying, Men, I perceive that this voyage will end with disaster and much loss not only of the cargo and ship, but also our lives. Nonetheless, the centurion was more persuaded by the helmsman and the owner of the ship than by the things spoken by Paul. And because the harbor was not suitable to winter in, the majority advised to set sail from there also. If by any means they could reach Phoenix, a harbor of creek opening towards southeast and northwest and winter there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we see that what happened. Paul says to the captain, he said, hey, come here, man. I want to have a word with you. We are going to be sailing to... uh, We are going to be sailing to Rome. But I've got news for you. I feel that this journey is going to be dangerous. Isn't that a warning? Hmm. And Paul says to him, I know you're the captain. I'm just a man of the arm. But I'm warning you, don't sail today. How many times? What's in the natural is in the spiritual. That's why I'm reading this scripture. How many times we have warning about what the enemy is about to do? Do you know it's not all the time Yahweh is going to speak to you personally and tell you be careful because storms are ahead? Mm. 
It can speak to your brethren. It can speak to your sister. It can speak to your leader. Right. But how many times do we listen? When Pastor Crossfield said to me, Brother Ray, you need to take this coat. Do I say, well, Pastor, I understand what you say, but um, yeah, we had to speak that to me, you know. Mm. Hear me. Sometimes we have to hear the word from the men and women of God. When you are floating to their spirit, to the ones, we have to listen. Because sometimes the turbulence and the rough times and the wind and the waves could be of our own making. Right. Hallelujah. And we blame the devil for everything. But sometimes we have to listen to people of Yah that says, this is what Yah said. Yes. Paul said, I know this trip is going to be dangerous. Mm. Not just for the ship, but for all the cargo and our lives as well. Mm. But because he was under duress, he had to go on the ship. He said, and nevertheless, the centurion believed the master and the owner of the ship more than the things which were spoken by Paul. They know who Paul was. They know he was the man of Yah. But they think, well, my ability will see, will see me through. My experience will see me through. I've sailed this sea so many times, and I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. I know how to sail with different high seas. And we didn't listen to the word that was brought to our spirit. That the sailing that we are on and the coast we are on could be dangerous. My word. Times we don't want to hear you. Moses, we don't want to hear you, Moses. Who made you a ruler over us, Moses? Come on, talk to us. Mm. Giving us all the laws and things and everything. You brought us out, out of Egypt into the wilderness to die. Not listening to the man of Yah that is leaning and through to a steady coat. That 40 days, 40 nights to walk around in a wilderness. Sometimes we have to listen to the man and woman of Yah and just wait for Yahweh to bring the manifestation to us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And as you imagine, they set sail and they pull up the anchor and they head out to the deep, heading towards Rome. But as you would imagine when you read the story, as they were going through, a little wind started to blow, a little wind started to roll. And before you know it, a tempest is raging. Hallelujah. They had to turn down the sails because the wind in the sails was contrary. They had to start lightening the ship because the ship is rocking to and fro. And they're trying to, stand, trying to steady the ship and trying to hold the coast. Mm. And now every man, about 276 of them all in the ship, and every man had to put their hands to something because they didn't listen to the man of Yah. Oh, my word, my word. Mm. Yah knows you've got an anchor. But he speaks in still small voices to us. We have to avoid the situations that have come against us at times that we will walk before him. Yes. And hear it. Samuel, Samuel. Mm. Hallelujah. And then he was told to say, speak, Yah, your servant here. How many times would Yahweh call you and I before we get shipwrecked? I've heard. How many times have we find ourselves in a situation 
Before we know it, we're totally shipwrecked. Too many times. Mm. When we go through that storm and we look back and they said, how could I have made such a mistake? How could I have made such a, a stupid plan? Mm. How did I get myself in this situation? Yeah, because I didn't listen to y'all speaking to me. Oh, my God. And then when the wind and the waves start to blow around, uh, we're fighting for our lives. We're, we're trying to push things over. We're trying to get rid of stuff. We're trying to lighten the load of us. But the good thing about that, when you're in that situation, if you still got a song to mind, you'll be able to say, I know where my Redeemer lives. I know I don't have to put them to anchor because of my faith still anchors in Yeshua. Hallelujah. Can you still do that? Depends on how far you wanted it. They didn't listen to Paul. And then troublous time come, perilous time come. We read verse 20 for us, Pastor, Pastor, verse 20 to 27. Sorry, verse 20 to 31. Hallelujah. Now when neither sun nor stars appear for many days. What a darkness. And, yes. Wow. And no smoke. No stars for many days. What Hallelujah. a blackness. What a time to find yourself in. Out in the ocean, winds are blowing, tempests are blowing, and you can't see nothing. My God, what a place. And you say, well, you're still, where are you? I'm calling on you, where are you? But you know what? You're in a dark place. My God. Can you still afford to drop anchor? Mm. Go on, Pastor. Sorry you cut you there. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And no small tempest beat on us. All hope that we would be saved was finally given up. Amen. But after long substance from food, then Paul stood in the midst of them and said, Men, you should have listened to me. <laughs> and not of sail from creek and incurred this disaster and loss. And now I heard you to take heart, for there will be no loss of life among you, Hallelujah. but only of the ship. For there stood by me this night an angel of Yah, to whom I belong and whom I serve. Mm saying, do not be afraid, Paul. You must be brought before Caesar, and indeed Yahweh has granted you all those who sail with you. Hallelujah. Therefore, take heart, men, for I believe, Yahweh, that it will be just as it was told to me. However, we must run a ground on a certain island. Now, when the 14th night had come, as we were driven up and down in the Adriatic Sea, Adriatic Sea, about midnight, the sailors sensed that they were drowning, they, they, sorry, they were drawing near some land. I'll read it again. And now when the 14th night had come, as we were driven up and down in the Adriatic Sea, about midnight, the soldiers sensed that they were drawing near some land. Hallelujah. 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 Read on to verse 31, please. Hallelujah. And they took sounding and found it to be 20 fathoms. And when they had gone a little further, they took sounding again and found it to be 15 fathoms. Then fearing lest we should run aground on the rocks, they dropped four anchors from the stern and prayed 
for day to come. Mm -hmm. And as the soldiers were seeking to escape from the, the ship, when they had let down the, the, the stiff into the sea on the pretense of putting out anchors from the prow. 31 and last, Paul said to the centurion and the soldiers, unless these men stayed in the ship, you cannot be saved. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Th thank you, Pastor. Hallelujah. Unless you stay in the ship. Another warning. The first warning was don't sail. Second warning, you when you're with tempted, you better stay in the ship. Yes. Stay in the ship. You see, oh, yeah. these men were just saved because of their own ability. These men, Paul said, an angel came to me. Mm. While we were down this, when I needed a word from you most, and we were tossing and toiling down this, and at the very point when we were afraid, he said, an angel came to me. Hallelujah. Now he stood by me in the darkness. Nobody mm. else saw that angel. Nobody yeah. has heard an angel speak about the Paul. And he said, Paul, don't be afraid. I will save you. And because of you, we will save everyone else on this ship. Hallelujah. Sometimes it's the prayer of your pastor. Sometimes it's the prayer of your apostle. It's the prayer of your evangelist. That probably saved some of us, and we don't need Hallelujah. People are standing in the gap for your name. Mm. And when you do what was afraid of tossing left, right, and center, Paul is saying, You know what, boys? I'm comfortable here. You guys are tearing the hair out, but I had, I had my confirmation last night. <laughs> Hallelujah. What did he have? He had the promise of Yahweh that says, I will that Yeshua and I said, I will never leave you. Come on. No, even though you're at the wildest of season and you don't know what to do and you cannot see anything around you, I am still there with you. Yes. I sent my angels at the right time to deliver you. Hallelujah. That's why you have to call out to him when we are in our storm. Glory so that he can send his angel to deliver us because sometimes we cannot deliver ourselves. Come on now. That's right. We Hallelujah. can pray, and but because we're so deep in the mire and we're so far down in the clay, we cannot free ourselves. Mm. And you've got to remember that you've got an anchor that you can call upon that will never, ever disappoint you. And at the right time in your darkness of time, he will send a comforter. He will send his anchor to deliver you. Somewhere, somehow, he will make a way where there seems to be no way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The devil is messing with our minds. I don't know if I can, I can keep on worshiping this thing. I don't know if I can carry on. This is getting too hard. Talk to us. Maybe I'll go to another church where it's easier. Maybe ah. I'll go to a place where I can just sit down. Mm. Come on, preacher. And the devil. All this fasting and praying and stuff like that. And the, yet the enemy is taking out of my mind. What's it doing? The enemy is putting darkness into your spirit. And it's talk your mind. You cannot see the light of Yeshua. Come on, talk to us. But if you've gone too far, you will sing and you will die. But you have to have the mind of fear in you that you can say, my Redeemer, still there. Huh. And I'm going to in this situation, I know he's going to deliver me. That is deep. Mm. Hallelujah. Sometimes I don't even feel like praying. Sometimes you don't feel like praying. You don't feel Not like do. worshiping. Do. You don't feel like fasting. You don't really feel like just giving you some time. Because the spirit man is going to wait. Mm. And the flesh is taking over. Only you. I cannot afford to lose my salvation. 
You oh, can't afford God. to lose your salvation. Doesn't matter what situation or circumstances that you find yourself in. You've got to hold on. My word. Woo. Because yes, you know where your anchor grips. Mm. You know who's looking after you. You know who says, I'll never leave you. I will never forsake you. When you need me, call on me. My, my, my. Lord, you call on him when you need him. And when everything's going and, and, and you're sailing smooth, now you don't remember who's brought you this mighty long way. Somebody say, look back from where he's brought you from. Yes. Where you could have been. Who knows where you and I could have been. If we had gone in our shipwreck state, we would not probably have been in, 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 in this position right now online talking about his goodness. Hallelujah. Somebody said, think about his goodness. Mm, think yes. about his grace. Hallelujah. Think about his love. Think how he's brought yeah. you through. Yes. For as high as the heavens above, so great, so great is the measure, the pastor. Hallelujah. So great is the measure of, of our of Father's, Father's love. love. Mm. Say it again, pastor. Of our Father's love. So great is the measure. Ah, mighty Father. That when I wonder from him and I find myself in storms of life, <laughs> his love still stands strong and remain. Hallelujah. What if he should take his love away from you? What a question. What if he should take his presence away from you? My God. What if he should take the Holy Spirit, the reverse of it, away from you? Mark it up. Please don't take your Holy Spirit from me. Come on, Pastor, say that again. Please don't take your Holy Spirit from me. Because when we are in that situation, and sometimes we feel like his spirit is miles away from us, and we're crying and we're calling, and we still can't find him or feel his presence, all we can do is have mercy on me. Please oh. don't take your spirit away from me. Because without you, I am hopeless. Without you, I am nothing. Without you, I will never see my heavenly home. My words, my words. Mm. All I have is my anchor to study. You can see when they, when they got to take the death, so they know how much anchor to drop. That's right. Then the friend came up with Freud came and said that they were going to run aground. There was nothing else left for them to do. They blind the ship, but they're still in danger. The only thing left for them was to do a drop anchor. Ha, mighty father. That's good. So they had that. They blind the ship. Mm. They thrown everything aboard, including food. Yes. After they've eaten, but comforted the poor. It's for everything of them, and that's all that was left for them. We have, we have to drop anchor, boys. The only thing we have now to save our lives, we have to drop anchor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The only thing you will have to save our lives is a spiritual man and to see our heavenly home. We got to Come get on. steady and drop anchor. Come on now. Hallelujah. Mm. You can lost your best friend. You may lose your colleague, even family members. You may lose them to the name of Yeshua. Why are you worshiping Saturdays? Why are you calling on those names? And all of that stuff. And the enemy used them to get to you, but you have to drop anchor. Yes, yes. I'm saying my truth because I know the truth. The truth that the Father has brought to us, and we see the truth, and the truth has set us free. Yes, hallelujah. And you and I have to be fervent 
and do our part. And when we, and God knows we will be in situations, and He knows we'll be in turbulent times. That's right. Yes. If you were with us when we were, when we were, when we were doing total, remember the total in Daniel seven. In verse 25, it says that the devil will weigh out. Oh, my mind. And you say, 25, it says the devil will weigh out the saints. Yes, sir. When he tried to weigh me out, all my, my, all, all my have left, maybe just my anger, which oh, is my whole thing issue. And when you try to wear you up, there's times when you have to drop your anger to stay safe. Hallelujah. Your anchor is hoping it's sure. Yes. But it didn't say sin there. In verse 27, it says, And the saints shall be victorious. Hallelujah. Yahweh will give the saints the victory. Yes. Because yes, yes, Yahweh hadn't in his blueprint put anywhere there for defeat for you and I. My, my, my. He hasn't planned no defeat. He hasn't Not at all. He says, my saints is going to defeat and lost. But no, yeah, as the person told us, you're going to go through the tribulation. Yes. The tribulation. But the tribulation will not overtake you because in Revelation it tells us there were those that was in white or those that came through that great tribulation. Great. Hallelujah. Those who are down. Those who said, doesn't matter what you've said, my right there. Doesn't matter what you said, my left there. I don't care. I am free in my spirit. I know the truth and it's setting me free. I'm going to anchor down here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're not going to change my mind. Mm. You're going to get me back to worship on the day that Yeshua did bless. My God. The call on his name that the angels said his name should be. Mercy. Yeshua Hamashiach. Our Savior. Masataya. Mm. Oh, yeah. Makushibai. Mm. Hallelujah. Have you got an anchor to drop? When perilous time comes, how deep will you go down to hit that rock? Because that anchor has got the grips. And when the hits the side and it sinks there, when the wind across the anchor holds. Keteba, my God. Hallelujah. There's a reason why the anchor is in that shape. So when it drops and it hits the sand back and it hits the rock, it holds the hey, the on the sea and how much the ship is rowing, the anchor says, I'm holding you back. I won't keep you long. We'll get past it to read one more bit for us today. Hallelujah. Hebrews 6, verse 17 to 20. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thus, yeah, determining to show more abundantly to their hearers of promise the immutability of his counsel, confirm it by an oath that by two immutable things in which mm -hmm. it is impossible for Yah to lie, we You're might right. have strong consolation who have fled for refuge to lay hold of the hope set before us. This hope we have as an anchor of the soul, both sure and steadfast, and which enters the presence behind the veil, where the forerunner has entered for us, even Yeshua, having become high priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. Hallelujah. Where is Hallelujah. your anchor? Where is your anchor? What did he say? In verse 19, he says, we have a hope. Yes, we do. 
Our hope is what? It's like an anchor. Come on now. Mm. I said our hope is our anchor. Ay, 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 ay. And what did it say? When you drop that anchor, and you still got to drift around. Is that what it said, Pastor? Yes, sir. It says when you drop anchor, that anchor both show and step us. Ah, mighty Yahweh. Who is that? Who is that? Who is that anchor? Who is the hope that we have? The hope uh -huh. is in Yeshua. Hallelujah. Who is the hope the veil? The veil that you go into the holiest of holies and the high priest will go into the veil. That's where the presence of Yahweh dwells. Yes. That's right. So you know what? When the when, when the uh, when, when, when the priest goes through to the holiest of holies, they had to tie a rope at the, at on. On the, the hem of his garment. Yes. And if he was clean and everything was right, he would go into the holiest of holies and the leather bells will be ringing to say he's still alive and walking around. That's right. If they didn't hear the bell, they didn't let them know he's dead. They had to pull him out by the road. Couldn't go in and get in. So the priest has had to make sure that he was clean and in a position to face the presence of God. Come on now. That's right. Now, the Bible just tells us that we have an anchor for our soul. Yes, we I have. And the whole thing first. How the bellows roll, hallelujah. Don't you know how tossed you are, but you're still on the coast. You're still focusing on him. Your faith yes. is still Nobody's going to distract you because your hope is in your true. Hallelujah. Oh, where is he? He's beyond the veil. He's sitting on the right hand of your true. Mm. Hallelujah. 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 I just don't think you are my home. I called out to you again and again. Hallelujah. Mm. The storms of life. Do you know where to call? Do you know where to drop your anchor? Mm. Do you know where to drop anchor? My God. Do you know where to pull up your anchor? Because when they were in the wilderness, they were led by pillar of cloud in the day. And every time the cloud moved, everyone had to get up their stuff and follow the cloud. Mm. When, and the pillar of fire at night, see, they, they still had to go. But when they stopped, everybody stopped. You got to follow where your hope is, follow your sure. The I truth got... that will set us free. Yes. We have an anchor. Yes, we do. Isn't, isn't, that, isn't that great? Mm. Oh, the Amazing. Bible is telling us today that you and I have got an anchor. Hallelujah. We got an anchor that's not going to drift when we drop it. Oh, but we got an anchor in the sewer that the anchor Ooh. is steepest. And Hallelujah. Steep. Because sometimes they drop on there, then they didn't hit bedrock, and they have to pull it up and drop it again. But you're not going to know when it goes down and it sits into your sewer. You're not going to have a connection because the chain of that anchor is still linked to the ship. Hallelujah. You and I are still held to your sewer. We cannot afford to let go. Oh, my, my, my. Hmm. When contrary winds are between you and below, below your wings. I want you to know you're not alone. At times you must be the same. Hallelujah. All he's saying, come on, boy. Come on, girl. Anchor down. Yes. Stay, stay fast. Hallelujah. Remember my promises to you. Mm. I'm a covenant keeper. Yes, my God. I'm a promise keeper. 
Hallelujah. Mm. Come to me. Romans 8 and verse 15 and 18 says, if we suffer with him, we will, and he knows we will suffer with. Actually, Pastor, you can read that for me. I'm sorry to drop that one again. Romans 8, verse 15 and 18. Verse 15 to 18. Do you know? Yeshua knows that you and I will suffer. Yeshua knows that the enemy will attack us. That's why he gives us an armor. Hallelujah. Glory. He knows you're going to face some storms of life. Yes. And we are in a position in the late days that we're living in today where the turmoil. Our Come leaders on. don't want to lead anymore. Our leaders don't want to, to, to run the country anymore. We have all sorts of stuff going on around us. And the only thing you and I could do today is drop and carry the shoe. Come on. Come on. Hallelujah. Mm. Because the time is going to come when you cannot go to your local supermarket to, to shop unless you show I have got the passport, I have got the mark. <laughs> and your babies are crying back home. And they need their milk, they need their food, they need something. And they're looking at you to provide for them as a parent. But what do you do when you say, hey, I'm not, I'm not going to bow down? Come on. You're preaching. So your men stick together. Yes. They knew they were going to go to Daniel. Learn so much from that. Mm. And the apostle and pastor. But the knowledge they've they empowered them to us. Four boys. Young men. So you better bow down that you're going to put you on fire. You better bow down that you're going to the lions. You better bow down and worship because I'm the king. And then four boys stand up and said, I am not going to bow down. We are not going to bow down. I'm okay, not going to bow down here. Hey, doesn't matter what that. you do to me. We are going to drop anchor. And doesn't matter come what on. you bring me down as you bring. You can put me on the fire. You can put me in front lines. But I'm going to drop anchor. Yes. You're moving me. My word. Mm. Could we be determined as that to keep yes. our soul safe? Because the person that's made it says, Our hope is in Yeshua, the anchor for our soul. Mm. Shadrach, mm. Meshach, and Bentigo, and Daniel, we are not going to bow down. I don't know what storms you put in front of me. Doesn't matter what know. winds are blowing in front of us. Doesn't matter what you want to do with us. But we will not we bow will down. Not. We're going to stay firm. We're going to drop anchor here. You know, oh, you can burn the water. You can come in from the land to eat them if you want to. But we're not going to bow down. We know who our shoe is. Hallelujah. Glory. My hope is in him. Hallelujah. My spirit is in him. He's the one who brought me in this world. He's the one who's going to look after me. He's the one who's going to take me up to glory. I have to I have to stick with him. I have to stick the coast. I have to drop anchor. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. Sometimes, you know, your family, your friends might not appreciate it, but because you know in whom you have believed. And Come you on. Have that means the principalities of power is going to shift you. You said, I'm dropping up. Because I have to stay in Yeshua because if I don't, my soul will be lost. What did I say? Yeah. Pastor. Romans 8 17. Romans 8, yeah, 15 to 18. Hallelujah. Of adoption by whom we cry, Habba Father. Yes. For the Spirit Himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of Yah. Ah. And if children, then hears and hears of Yah and joint hears with Yeshua. If indeed we suffer with Him, that we may also be glorified together. For I consider that the sufferings of this present time. Oh, we're not worthy 
to be compared. Let me hear you read that, Pastor. Let me hear. For I what? For I consider that right. the suffering of this present time Come on. are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Wow. Hallelujah. Thank you, man. <laughs> oh, I just love the way you read that. Yes. So we suffer. What did it say? If we suffer with him. Mm. And you will know some of us are suffering in many ways, oh, financially, physically, sickness and disease. Come on. But we know today that we have to drop anchor. Yes, sir. A step in. Hallelujah. Because if we suffer with him, <laughs> we didn't say, then we will glory with him. Yes, hallelujah. Mm. Oh man, let me have to read that again. If you suffer with him, my God, mm. when you stand for Yeshua and you stand for his name and you stand for his laws and his precepts, I'm telling you, the enemy will hate you. But you have to say, you know what? I'm not moving from here. Doesn't matter what you hit me on the left, you hit me on the right, but I'm dropping out. I'm not moving. Come on now. I'm not to move my position. Hi, my God. Mm. I suffer with him. I will have glory in the end with him. I know where he's brought me from. I know where I am today. And I know where he's taking me. Come on I'm now. I'm going to lose my salvation. Come I can't on. afford to lose my position in your truth. Come on now. No help. If I have everything, I better drop back here. How about Kusheba? I cannot do it for my family. You cannot do it for your family. It's an individual thing. You got That's to right. Me. Even if they're children that you love, they still have to fight for themselves. That's right. One to one with you. Work out your own salvation. salvation. Hallelujah. And because you know you can just lose the cross that you're on, and because fear will take away the darkness will take away you, you work it out with fear and trembling. Hallelujah. Mm. You prepared to drop anchor for his name? God, my God. Are you prepared to drunk, drop anchor for his love? He lifts you up when you fall down. Yes, he does. All through the storm, mm. his love is the anchor. <laughs> Hallelujah. Mm. Our hope is in here alone. Hallelujah. Faithful one, so unchanging. My God. Ageless one, you're my rock of peace. Yahweh of all. I depend on you. Mm. I call out to you. Again and again. Hallelujah. I call out to you. Again and again. My God. You are my rock in times of trouble. You lift me up when I fall down. The anchor, my hope is in you alone. Hallelujah. Mm. Who is your anchor? Sakaya. Mm. There will be heights. There will be depths. Principalities and powers. There's also the stuff that tells us in Romans 8, 35 and 37. 
that would not try and knock us off course. Who shall separate us? Mm, what a question. Who shall separate you? My, my, my. Who shall separate me? Mm. Who shall separate us from me? We have to realize that the time is coming when you and I will have to anchor them. Perilous times shall come, they say. Men will be lovers of themselves than lovers of you. And they will try to get you to love yourself more than you love you and the things of the world. But you and I can't afford that. We have to anchor down. Come on, come on, my God. Mm. Step up. Yes. I say it again. We have an anchor. Kiriba. Mm. You will not be left alone. Shitty of for yourself in this dark world. My you God. have an anchor called hope. And when you drop the anchor, which is in Yeshua. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You will not be tossed to the throne because your anchor will hold you. My God. Mm. And show while all the bellows of life. Hallelujah. My mind. Mm. Hold on to him. Yes. When the enemy said, go over to the next place, go over your back father, and it's better here. Stick where you are. Uncle Dan. Kitty Basaya. Because mm. only the truth that we is is gonna set us free. Hold on to him. I am seeking. When does dark time come? It's black like a bull hat. Mm. When you when you're just in turmoil, you don't know which one to take. That's when the angel's going to come and bring some good news to you. <laughs> just when you need him, no. You see, yes, you don't know what you and I can be. He said, "You're not give us more than you and I can be." But when we go past that point, I know as we are in the storm, and he knows we can bear that storm. Come on, that's so right. You and I to see ourselves through that storm because he knows we can bear it. My, 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 my. But when you go past that position where he we knows we can't take anymore, that's when he shows up. My, 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 my God. Mm. Because he knows you go past that path where you can't take, but you're taking now more than he knows you can bear. So he said, my angels, go down and rescue brother Ed. Deliver him. Deliver Brother John, whoever. Because he knows you've gone past the point where you're going to lose your mind. You're going to lose everything. But until you get to that point, he knows what you can bear. Mm. He knows how much turbulence you can take. He knows how much rough seas you can sail. But when you go past that point, he will show up spiritually on the scene for you. Hallelujah. And when you look back, you said, how did I make it through? Somebody say, if it wasn't for you, I don't know where I would have been. It's mercy you kept me. Mm. It's love. Surround me. Isn't it good that when you're going through this talk, Yahweh, I know you're with me. Mm. Your promises are true. You never leave. You're a covenant keeper. Mm. Whatever storm you're going through today, remember you've got an anchor. It's your hope in issue. Don't ever doubt. Keep believing. Because his promises to you are true. Mm. Hallelujah. He says, if you want to make it in, if your eye offends you, pluck it out. Ah, what did he say, Pastor? Pluck it out. My, my. 
because it's better you enter into glory with one than two and lost your soul. Come on. My word. Mm. Says, you hypocrite. Take the beam. Out of your own hand. Before you could take up mm. the mold, it's not easy how the enemy shows us stuff and tell us stuff that shakes us and a time we don't realize it. My, my. He's the deceiver of the nation. Yes, he is. He's our adversary. Mm. Put on that armor. <laughs> you think Yeshua didn't know that? He knows you're going to be in a warfare. Yes. As long as you take on his name. <laughs> as long as you take on his character. <laughs> if on. you suffer with him, you should have glory with him. Hallelujah. Glory. That's what we're fighting for. Our home in glory. Hallelujah. I can't have to lose my estate. I can't have to lose, to, to lose my home in my past, my past in that new Jerusalem. I want to go through one of those gates. Shed up a cool David said, I'd rather be a doorkeeper. Ah, oh, my, my, my. Mm. The house of you. Carry my Don't have to be the priest. I don't have to be the leader, but this, if I'm just a doorkeeper in the house of God, hallelujah, I will gladly do that. That dwelling in tents of wicked men. Mm. I trust me, that, that's a good job because everybody who goes in the temple, <laughs> that's you right. see, you're the doorkeeper of the tent. Mm. My man. Are you prepared to drop anchor? Are you prepared to stay firm? Mm. Are you prepared? We have to have a made up mind. Come on, that's right. Because if your mind is not made up, trust me, the enemy will use that as the bold field for, for him to bow with. Yes, he will. We know that. I know mm. that. I've played with my mind many times. But I have to drop and cut. Come on, my God. Mm. And lose yourself. Profit you nothing apart from your pot and the lake of fire. And that wasn't made for us. That is. Well, for the enemy. A devil and his angels, those demons, spirits. Yahweh's got a place for each and every one of them. All that was asking us to do is to drop anger. Yes. Mmm. May Yahweh bless you. May his face shine up in you and give you peace. And whatever you're going through, may his angels show up in the darkness and bring light to your soul. Hallelujah. Bring peace and comfort. Anchor down. You will not regret it. Ooh. And you should be mm. Of course, feel that to you. My God. Ooh, 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 Sheba. What a word. My God. You got to know when to drop your anchor. My God. Mm, and you got to know when to pull it up. Ah, my God. You know, ah, my word. What a word for us today. My God Almighty. Mm. He knows. But we have to make a made-up mind. We have to have a made-up mind. He knows how much pressing and squeezing, as a preacher man said, we can take. But we have an anchor. Who is our anchor? Yeshua Amashiach. Ah, oh, my God Almighty. Woo! Powerful word from Pastor Gain today. My God. 
I don't know about you, but I know something hits my spirit. Ah, my God, my satire, because how many times, especially in these days that we're living now, the enemy mess with our minds. But as the man of Yah said, we got to know the God we serve. Like, like the four boys, they knew their God and they dropped anchor. Ha, barekotaya. Ah, oh my God, I will be dropping my anchor, Dabakusa. I will be dropping my anchor this week because I know that the enemy doesn't like what we do and what we are doing. You see, he's not happy about this truth reaching the four corners of the earth. And that's why he's, he's after us so much, but we're, we're going to drop anchor. My God Almighty, Re Sabai, my Koshiba. Woo! Oh my God, I'm, I'm, I'm Makiai. Ah, Father, I just want to give you thanks. I just want to worship and adore you. Yahweh, I thank you for the word that you sent ah, through your servant today, my God Almighty. Ah, oh, for those of us, my God, who are sailing, my Ketarosha, and the wind, my get boisterous, and the, the waves get high, and it seems like we're about to go into shipwreck. Rebo Satan de Keray, I pray, King of Glory, my God, that as the word go for today, my God Almighty, when the storms of life begins to rage and the billows roll my kosha our pastor drop anchor my god and anchor our soul in you yeshua my god as the righteous said i will call out to you my god Again and again, my Yomo Kushaba. It doesn't matter how the billows are rowing. I call out to you, my race. Again and again, I cry out to you, my Rekotoshai. Again and again, my God, what a hope we have today. That it doesn't matter how deep we are, Marikutusha. It doesn't matter, my God, how deep we get into the midst of the sea. Ah, we have an anchor, Marakushai, that grips Therefore, we shall not be afraid. And so I speak to every contrary wind that is blowing my kutushaba. I said, Peace be still. Rima sandeketare kotaya. Ya komari kondo shaya. Mandala makutu shekenderebe. The person that is about to give up. I said, There is hope. Maketo. When frustration kicks in, there is hope. Marekotoshai, Rebo Sandeketai, because he will not give us more than what we can be. Father, I pray today, my God. I pray, King of glory, that as we grip on our satire and drop our anchor, my God and mighty, ah, my Keshinobosaya, and stay, my God, and born, Mashikaya, as the word said, no lives will be lost, my God, help us to stay on board. Help us to stay on board, Yeshua, my God. 
Masataya. Because if you're in the vessel, Masataya, Wamarikondo Shakandarabaya, then ever star Makushabaya, Dadaba Riondo Kusaya, ever wind, wave, Makusantaya, Mandikesaya, when you are in the ship, my God, we do not need to be afraid, Masataya. Of the storm that are raging because you're in the midst. So, Father, we are grateful for the word that you sent for your servant today, my God. I thank you, Yahweh El Elyon, for the Maku Shabbat, for the reminder today, Yahweh King of Glory, that it doesn't matter what we're going through. It doesn't matter what life throws at us. We can drop, we can Marco Sadaya. We can drop our anchor. Hallelujah. Father, we give you thanks for your man's servant. And as he pour out today, I pray that you will pour in, my God. Ah, Yakio Saya, continue to use him for your service. I pray, Yahweh Elohim, my God, Abake Shendaramakaya, as he keep his mind fixed on you. Ah, yeah, as you give him a renewed mind daily. Yahweh, as you take him from glory to glory, uh, to new heights, new levels, new dimensions. Father, I pray for added strength for the journey. Ah, my God, and as he stand on you, Yeshua, the solid rock. Ah, my God, every other ground will sink, but because we are standing on your word, standing and holding on to that which you have given unto us, my God. You spoke unto Moses and you asked him, what is it in your hand, my Kotosha? Whatever you have given us, my God, to sustain us, my Korekotosha, uh, as we go through this season, help us to use that which you have given unto us. As we keep our mind and our heart focused on you. Ah, oh my God, that if we should find ourselves in the situation like the four boys, my God, we too can makerakatai, Maria Shekerona Basaya, we too shall say we will not bow. For Yeshua we live, and for Yeshua we will die. Strengthen us, Father. As we go through the season, Father, we know that you are with us always, even to the very end of age. Be thou glorified in the heaven, be thou glorified in the earth. For thine, Yahweh, is the kingdom, thine is the power, all power and dominion belongs to you. You're still in control and we will, we will not lamaku shabaya, we will not lose focus, makerekotobaya, we will not be distracted by what's happening around us. But we'll keep our minds steadfast and sure as we press towards the mark of the higher calling. We give you glory, yeah. We magnify your name and we worship and adore you. Ah, and as we go throughout, the rest of the day, my Yahweh Elohim, continue to minister to us. Let the word, my God, that you have given your man servant, challenge our hearts and our soul. Ah, Yahweh, as we keep our mind fixed on you, knowing that you are able and you haven't lost any battle and you cannot fail. So we thank you for that which you are doing in the season in Yeshua's name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I have been blessed, I have been ministered to, and I hope you receive something from the word today. Yahweh is just awesome. What a word from the man of Yah. Haba Sayo. Be blessed and have yourself a blessed Sabbath. And please remember to tune in onto our Bible studies total 
on a Wednesday. We will be back on Wednesday night, 7.30, 7.45 rather, hallelujah, UK time. So join us again as we go into the book of Daniel, hallelujah. Oh my God, I have been blessed today and I just hope that as the word go forth, you will take it on, apply it, use it because that's a tool Yahweh give us. He gave us that too. So let us use that which he has given unto us. Hallelujah. So bye for now and have a blessed Sabbath. Shalom. See you in total. Yahweh bless. Bye-bye. about his love think about his goodness think about his grace that's brought us through for as high as the heavens above so great is the measure of our father's love Think about his love. That's what we come together to do. To consider the wide expanse and the deep dimensions of God's love for us. Let that thought dwell in your heart tonight. Because God is for us. He is. And his word confirms it. Refreshing breezes of God's love are drifting over us today. And where they do, his love clears away confusion and awakens worship. And the result of experiencing God's love for us should compel us to love Him more so that we can begin to love each other more. God's immeasurable love is for us. For us. You and me. So let's take some time right now to think about it. Think about His love his goodness and his great mercy and let it change us great is the measure great is the measure great is the measure of our father's love so great so great so great is the measure of our